in one of these things to kind of gauge the crowd. Obviously, everyone here's a crowd at Falls Fan. How many people here have, uh, have seen every episode? Thank you. 
plastic, everything about this creature is frustrating. <laughs> I shudder to think how such a horrific being came into this world, although for the record, I will state that actual unicorns are just as annoying. Um, so there will be, <laughs> and for every page you have ever seen, not in the series, you will have the actual canon of what happened in that moment. Um, you will also have uh, they're not just randomly thrown along, it's, it's the entire history of the author's journey in Gravity Falls. Coming to town, learning about it, searching for it, his mission, him uh, bringing Fiddleford to a to come work with him, um, the adventures taking him on, uh, back and forth, and the cranky old men, and the cranky young men. Uh, we learned a little bit more about Fiddleford, he was a very sweet, kind, charming, naive young man. Got really messed up when he saw the streets of the universe. All of which we will learn about, um, and uh, it also covers uh, some mysteries about the cipher that I'll yeah. 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 What about the black light? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I will say that you learn why there are red splatters on the page. Oh. Uh, when you uh, see so people taking out like telescopes trying to see. <laughs> Um, uh, this journal will also have Dipper's notes in it, as you may recall. In the first episode, Dipper starts flipping through and starts writing on his own. So we get both the author's uh, secret history of Gravity Falls, we get <coughs> Dipper's sort of notes between adventures about aftermaths of episodes and things went in between. You might have wondered what was the deal with Dipper clones number three and four. You, yeah. you might have wondered what the deal is with Love Potion, how long this last. Hey, what really happened to Giffany? There are answers. <laughs> and then we'll get this journal. Let me see. Let me, let me, uh, let me look one more page here. What about the black light? No! I encountered my first note when I woke in the morning and found an arguing politics with a stuffed bear head above my fireplace. They show themselves incredibly capable of an alarming ability to combine their squishy little bodies into huge, terrifying formations, so keeping my snacks on higher shelves has done nothing to stop their persistent nibbling. None of them stole my glasses and made two of my cassette tapes as well as the 80s. So, cassette tapes. Typical size of common known ranges from 10 to 18 uh, inches. This includes the hats. I must see what's under that blasted hat. Do they have pointy heads, etc.? <laughs> um, so uh, it's going to be. Uh, what's the page? How many pages is this? Yeah, about 280. Wow. Color, color, It's going to be dope. It's going to blow your minds. How much of Alex has gone into this? There will be beard hairs in every single one. Call them out, I'm sorry. Uh, and I think you're, you're going to be blown away when you get a chance to see some of the stuff that we've seen from, from him and his end. Uh, it's, it's amazing. So uh, that, that'll be uh, pretty cool. Um, I, feel like, uh, I feel like I also want to show you guys a little bit from the upcoming episode. <laughs>
and things happen that, that, that shape <coughs> the Gravity Falls universe. So um, let, me, uh, let me see here. Uh, all right, the future. <laughs>
So the question is, um, just like what exactly happens in the future? I can't tell you that. I don't know when you watch the show. That's why you guys tune in. Uh, but beyond that, I'd love to be as, as answerable as I can. As the end of it, that's why I'm here. So uh, uh, let's, let's, let's start with uh, you in the front there, with the bumblebee. <laughs> Hi. Um, so obviously this is amazing, and I would never have watched Disney before this show. So this is the only Disney show I actually watch. Thank you. <laughs> I don't 
that doesn't happen. So like, I mean, the answer to your question is like, I, I perceive all of this stimulus with the same like amused, like, well, that was a weird attitude, you know what I mean? Um, like, I think, I will say it's sort of, it's sort of bizarre as a show creator, because like, I grew up in the 90s, and so like, we had road rap, and we had club. going to marry Tommy Pickles. <laughs> oh my god, you meant so much to me. Like, so like, this is awesome, but it's like totally outside of my realm of experience. You know, like, this is what the future is like. Um, we are living in it right now, the future is coming for us all, so um, I think they're all equally crazy and whatever, and like, I will say, like, people can come to me and they're like, can you condemn this shit? And I'm like, no, it's not, I don't, it's not about me, it's about you guys. Like, you can play with your toys and have fun and whatever, because like at the end of the day, like people love drawings and they love cartoons. But, like I, I do sometimes feel like there's like kids online who don't understand like like what fiction is, like it's an expression of ideas and like like when a character says like like when a character's in an episode, like that character, this is a call out post for you. I'm like, this thing. I'm like, he's fictional. What's he gonna do? See your call out post and be like, you were right. Hey, Susie's actually, Susie's inspired by my friend from college, a guy named Susie Amaro. 
Um, he was a lovely and strange human being, um, and like he was just like he was a pal. He was actually um, me, him, uh, Penn Ward, Greater Adventure Time, Adam Ward. Uh, uh, we all, in my freshman year, were in little cubicles next to each other, working on our stupid films together. And like he would be at the pencil test machine, just being like, oh, he's just like, oh, the pencil test machine, but I can fix it. Oh, uh, guys, I can fix it, but I wrote something else. <laughs> Um, okay, I wrote two more things. Uh, I'll look at five. If anyone wants to Del Taco, um, I was just like, I love this man. I want to put him in my show. Um, but, uh, like, there is sort of, there's definitely a fatherly relationship between Seuss and Stan. I mean, as you guys saw in Blaine's game, Seuss is a guy who never really had a big family, and Stan, as we learned in Tale of Two Stan, is a guy who had an awful relationship with his own family. You know, never never really got that family life, and so they both kind of found each other accidentally, and I, I imagine probably in the first week of having this little kid work for him, Stan, you know, even though he acted like a rough jerk, was secretly happy to kind of have someone who looked up to him for once in his life, and Sue was happy to have someone who would listen to him and tell him what to do, some kind of father figure, and even though Stan is the worst possible father <laughs> Um, his heart's in the right place, and Seuss is somebody who only sees your heart. He sees the best in everyone. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I really am happy we were able to explore a little bit of Seuss and Stan's relationship. Um, and we will see kind of more about sort of what, what Stan means to Seuss and, and, and what being in Gravity Falls means to Seuss as the season progresses. Thank you. So recently I found out that you, some time ago, went on 4chan <laughs> and posted a fake leak image. Oh yeah, that was a couple years ago. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea for such a wonderfully cruel comment? <laughs> uh, well, so um, that actually, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I can talk about because my episodes have come out, you guys know all the secrets. So um, basically, we knew from the get-go that everyone in this room has seen the episode, so I can spoil things that people have seen. Um, so we knew from the get-go, when we started the show, we knew a couple things for dead certain. We knew who's the author of the journals. We know the author of the journals from his fans, secret brother, whom he had a spat with many years ago, and is away, far away, and we knew all these pieces. And we knew that's the secret, and that's why it says Stanley will be on his license plate, because his real name is Stanley, like, from the very first episode, we knew all that. Um, we wanted to be sneaky about it, we were little, putting a little, little tiny hint. Um, probably just people like, way smarter than me, everyone figured it out, right? <laughs> um, you know, like I said, I grew up watching TV in the 90s, and it used to be before the massive hyper brain of the internet, that a show like, you know, Twin Peaks, or whatever, or, you know, the Simpsons, who shot Mr. Burns, they could put out a big mystery, and, you know, individual in their own be like, I'm learning a lot of clues, that's confusing, and then, like, one person would like, oh, Now, that put it together guy has, like, an air horn, everybody, everybody, like, solved it, and so, like, if one person knows, everyone knows. So, like, I honestly, I do think that we were pretty subtle with our clues, but, the moment one person figured it out, it started to spread. So it was it was near the end of season one that someone I saw the first post. All right, everybody, here's the thing: I'm standing by the twins solving crap. They're on to us, um, and we had a choice at that point. Um, we, you know, somebody said, "Geez, I mean, they figured it out. Should we just change the whole backstory?" And I was like, "No, I love that story. That that's a story about our characters." We have a choice, you know, between making the story we set out to make, or just flipping it upside down, be like contrary, and like, ha ha, well, yeah. Um, but we are contrary, we do love fooling people, so we figured to have our kid lead to like see if we can see if we can try to create a little bit of a lead. Let's see if we can try to fake out the meaning we got as the author. Because we teased that at the beginning of season one. You know, one of our writers, Josh Weinstein, actually worked on The Simpsons on the Who Shot Mr. Burns episode, and they were so secretive that they animated like three different fake endings to that just in case they believed they were prepared for it. And I was like, what's the modern equivalent of what they did back then? Um, fortune! So, uh, uh, yeah, no, that's exactly it. I mean, we, it just like, we were all having lunch, eating sandwiches, 
sandwiches and pop into our heads. Like, I'll bet in about an hour and a half we can make it convincingly. All right, Joe, you do the sketches, Ian, you pick the background. All right, Kevin, the editor, put up some time code that's fake and doesn't mean anything. <laughs> snap, snap. All right. <sighs> put on a hazmat suit, hold my nose going into fortune. <laughs> And just like type like, uh, hey, I'm on a tour of Disney and I saw this spoiler question mark. Right. Um, and then I was like, alright, let's hang out on Tumblr, let's keep refreshing until somebody replies this, and it took about three minutes, so <laughs> And then I went on Twitter, tweeted, viewing me right now, counted to ten, deleted it.
voices on each other's shows. Um, it's always fun having them on. It's fun and I'm mean, basically doing a tone down on the crowd, a less great version of it. Um, he asked me to do a voice on his show. It was just like, cool guy, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's super fun. Um, like, I feel really grateful that I work with a lot of people who, like, you know, I think, I know that, like, I always imagined, you know, when I was a kid, I tried to imagine what's it like in the business. Like, I always imagined this, like, really cutthroat world where, like, all the shows are competing with each other and, like, following each other's ratings and, like, just, like, ah, toast to the failure of my rivals. And, like, that's what executives are like, absolutely. Um, but, like, we're all friends, like, it's, as you guys know, like, you only know so many people in your life who love cartoons, like, as much as you do. And, like, other people making shows, like, fellow artists are those people. So, like, I always find it's better to be friends than to be rivals, you know what I mean? Because, like, you're all, I'll be working with each other one day, you know what I mean? So it's like, get to know each other. Like, some of those people I've met are, are people who love cartoons. So it's, it's been super fun. Glad you enjoyed both. Thank you. Woo! What's up? It's the author of the journal. My brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, when he puts it on Broken Force head, one of the things it says on the screen is, I miss Dimension 52. Uh, what is Dimension 52? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great tie-in question to promote a journal that's going to be on sale. <laughs> Like, I feel like it's summer, you know what I mean? Like, I have a campfire smell, like, I got a 40 experience, 
You know what I mean? Like, I want there at least to be a gift shop. Um, like, and then, like, I mean, ideally, like, I imagine some kind of, like, some kind of Mr. Toad's bottle ride slash roller coaster thing, you know, where you're going through the forest, you go, like, underwater, you got gnomes chasing you, you got Bill Cipher on your tail, like, you're like, Some kind of like golf cart adventure with different men, like dodging multiple weird monsters you've seen in the show, winding up in the gift shop and being demanded to go back again and stand in line and no refunds. Like, <laughs> I think it would be amazing. Um, and uh, I'm just like, let's mosquitoes loose in there. Like, <laughs> really make it feel like you're there, you know what I mean? Um, that would be my dream. Uh, that would be awesome if Disney had the same dream one day, but that's up to them, so. We shall see anything's possible, I suppose. more 
gravity falls merchandise like Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I only have the power over the show itself. Um, the, the company at large decides when and where there's merchandise, um, what it looks like when it comes out, how much it costs, and then they kind of tell me. <laughs> they say, hey, toy's coming out. I'm like, uh, cool, thanks. Um, like, so I, I don't have any control over this. If I had, if I was the dictator that y'all imagined me to be, like, there would be that season one DVD with, like, crazy special features out right now. Yeah, so, yeah. I just really want this stuff, um, and it's all, like, inside of how much they can cost and how they can whatever, so. I, I really hope there's more merchandise. I hope like you I want to own a Bill Blush. I want like I want like, really like nice action figures and characters. Like I want like 10 games like um we'll see. I hope so. And one more thing. I don't know if you can do this or not, but my friend Alice here, it's her birthday today and she really loves her character Seuss and I wanted her you to sing happy birthday to her birthday Seuss. <laughs>
the triangle in the back of the dollar bill, and it's Bill, and it's Dick Barnes, and like the top hat, like, I'm just like, this is, there's so many conspiracy theorists out there who, like, every time, like, Beyonce, like, gives a thumbs up, they like, sort of look like a triangle, like, a little bit like, there's someone out there, I'm just gonna make them miserable. I am just like, I'm an actual terrifying triangle in this show, and see what happens. I mean, the origin is kind of, the origin of Bill is sort of to annoy and drive people insane, which if Bill were here today, he'd be very happy. Thank you. Um, uh, Bill, 
me put it this way. If you think Uncle Stan's relationship with his family is bad, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Um, uh, in terms of us still working with someone, uh, Bill has a That's all I can say. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I mean, the scope of the series is always meant to be about what it's like at summer, you know what I mean? What the kids sort of home life to be intentionally mysterious just because it's, it's not a show about Piedmont, California. Nine, four, six, one, that's where I grew up, so that's, that's where the kids are from also. Um, so, I mean, we do try to be purposely vague about the parents. Um, I can't say more about it than that, though, so we'll just have to wait Thank you.
the moment one person figured it out, it started to spread. So it was it was near the end of season one that someone I saw the first post. All right, everybody, here's the Denver Broncos fans that season twin salted. Crap. They're on to us. Um, and we had a choice at that point. Um, we, you know, somebody said, well, geez, I mean, they figured it out. Should we just change the whole backstory? And I was like, no, I love that story. That That's a story about our characters. We have a choice, you know, between making the story we set out to make or just flipping it upside down and be like, contrary, and like, ha ha, well, yeah. Um, but we are contrary, but we do love fooling people. So we figured to have our cake and lead to it. Like, See if we can see if we can try to create a little bit of a lead. Let's see if we can try to fade out the name of God is the author. Because we teased that at the beginning of season one. You know, one of our writers, Josh Weinstein, actually worked on The Simpsons on the Who Shot Mr. Friends episode, and they were so secretive that they animated like three different fake endings to that just in case they believed they were prepared for it. And I was like, what's the modern equivalent of what they did back then? Um, fortune. So uh, yeah, no, that's exactly. It. I mean, we did. Like, we were all having lunch, eating sandwiches, and popping into our heads, like, I'll bet in about an hour and a half, we can make it convincingly. Like, all right, Joe, you do the sketches, Ian, you pick the background. All right, Kevin, the editor, put up some time code, it's fake, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> snap, snap. All right. <sighs> put on a hazmat suit, hold my nose, go into fortune. <laughs> <laughs> and just, like, type, like, uh, hey, I'm on a tour of Disney, and I saw all this spoiler question mark. Right. Um, and then I was like, alright, let's hang out on Tumblr, let's keep refreshing until somebody reblogs it, and it took about three minutes, so <laughs> it. and then I went on Twitter, tweeted, view me right now, count to ten, deleted it. <laughs> so again, as I was saying before, like, everything is an experiment, you're just like, I my this is work, it works so well, so bad. <laughs> You worked so hard. Like, I was like, guys, so hard on search is sobbing and talking. Stay with the fans. They would reply to that. I'm like, alright, this has gotten out of hand. But I've been in my bed now, I've got a line, and I've got about a year until I can reveal the truth. So finally, as soon as it was time and we got to get the reveals, not the opera, there was a convention where I like, came out. I was like, alright, I'm fine, it was a drink. It was, and like, at first, I was like, that was really funny. That's great, you troll us, you troll. Have uh, writers, you and a bunch of writers, you know, like writing different episodes where 
family out for like ripping off not tell your family about it. And um, we know that Justin Roiland was on your show as Legend. How did it, I want to know how did it feel for you to go to his show and do a voice for that? <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. Um, well, uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, Justin Roiland, the creator of Rick and Morty, is a uh, friend of
light and so many interesting things happen that, that, that shape the gravity falls universe. So um, let, me, uh, let me see here. Uh, all right, the future. Clarify, we'll ask 
couple other questions. Um, just like what exactly happens in the future? I can't tell you that. I know when you watch the show, that's why you guys do it. Uh, but beyond that, I'd love to be as, as answerable as I can and as the end of it, that's why I'm here. So uh, uh, let's, let's, let's start with uh, you in the front there, with the bumblebee. <laughs> Hi. Um, so obviously this is amazing, and I would never have watched Disney before this show. So this is the only Disney show I actually watched. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wondering, for the next season, how much is the kind of the moments are we going to get? I don't 
like, that doesn't happen. So like, I mean, the answer to your question is like, I, I receive all of this stimulus with the same like, abuse, like, well, that was a weird attitude, you know what I mean? Um, like, I think, I will say it's sort of, it's sort of bizarre as a show creator, because like, I grew up in the 90s, and so like, we had road rap, and we had death. going to marry Tommy Pickles. <laughs> oh my god, you meant so much to me. Like, so like, this is awesome, but it's like totally outside of my realm of experience. You know, like, this is what the future is like. <laughs> um, we are living in it right now, the future is coming for us all, so um, I think they're all equally crazy and whatever, and like, I will say, like, people can come to me and they're like, can you condemn this shit? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not, I don't, it's not about me, it's about you guys. Like, you can play with your toys and have fun and whatever, because, like, at the end of the day, like, people love drawings and they love cartoons, but, like, I, I do sometimes feel like there's, like, kids online who don't understand, like, like, what fiction is, like, it's an expression of ideas, and, like, like, when a character says, like, like, when a character's mean an episode, like, that character, this is a call-out post for you. From this channel, like, he's fictional, what's he gonna do, see your call-out post and be like, you were right! Hey, Susan's actually, Susan's inspired by my friend from college, a guy named Sushi Amaro. 
Um, he was a lovely and strange human being, um, and like he was just like he was a pal. He was actually um, me, him, uh, Penn Ward, creator of Adventure Time, Adam Ward, and uh, we all in my freshman year were in little cubicles next to each other, working on our student films together. And like he would be at the pencil test machine, just being like, "Oh, he's like, oh, the pencil test machine, but I can fix it. Oh, uh, guys, I can fix it, but I wrote something else." <laughs> Here, you just like, you just hail a cab and a pizza flies in your hand. Right? 
Emperor starts flipping through and starts writing on his own. So we get both the authors of uh, Secret History of Gravity Falls, we get different <laughs> sort of notes between adventures about aftermaths of episodes and things went in between. You might have wondered what was the deal with Dipper Clones number three and four. You, yeah. you might have wondered what the deal is with Love Potion, how long this last. Hey, what really happened to Giffany? There are answers. <laughs> What about the black light? No! I encountered my first note when I woke in the morning and found arguing politics with a stuffed bear head above my fireplace. They show themselves incredibly capable of an alarming ability to combine their squishy little bodies into huge, terrifying formations. So keeping my snacks on higher shelves has done nothing to stop their persistent nibbling. Another note was stolen my glasses and made two of my cassette tapes as well as written in the 80s. So, cassette tapes. Typical size of common known ranges from 10 to 18 uh, inches. This includes the hats. I must see what's under that blasted hat. Do they have pointy heads, etc.? Um, so uh, it's going to be. Uh, what's the page? How many pages is this? And about 288. Wow. Color, color, it's going to be dope. It's going to blow your minds. Whining up in the gift shop and being demanded to go back again 
and stand in line and nobody funds like that. <laughs> I think it would be amazing. Um, and uh, I'm just like, let's mosquitoes loose in there. Like, <laughs> Really make it feel like you're there, you know what I mean? Um, that would be my dream. Uh, that would be awesome if Disney had the same dream one day, but that's up to them, so we shall see. Anything's possible, I suppose. Um, like, 
So I, I don't have any control in this. If I had, if I was the dictator that y'all imagined me to be, like there would be that season one DVD with like crazy special features out right now. Like, I, I really hope there's more merchandise. I hope like you I want to own a bill plush. I want like I want like, really like nice action figures and characters like I want like, ten games like uh we'll see. I hope so. And one more thing. I don't know if you can do this or not, but my friend Alice here, it's her birthday today and she really loves her character Zeus and I wanted for you to sing happy birthday to her. Thank <laughs> you. 